On October 24, 2010, Moment Magazine held its 35th anniversary symposium and dinner at the Four Seasons Hotel in Georgetown in Washington, D.C. Hello, I'm Nadine Epstein, editor and publisher of Moment Magazine. As cartoon editor of The New Yorker, I, I know you've thought a lot about humor and you've thought a lot about Jewish humor. We've talked about it. Did Jews help create the American humor industry? And if so, how? Well, the first thing I want to say is, I, before I answer, I want to see if I got a really good present. You did, because it's something that I really wanted, so we got it for all of you. Secondly, I really would, you know, these are the timekeepers here. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, well, you know, I'm from New York, really. Oh, isn't that horrible? <laughs> well, that's a little bit about what humor is all about. It's about breaking the rules. Uh, it's about uh, uh, looking things at, yeah, at a different way, not accepting what is. Just because we're in alphabetical order or you decided it was three minutes, it's all nuts. <laughs> Absolutely insane. <laughs> Everyone goes along with it because they said so. And that's partly what humor says. Who said so? Why? And, of course, you know, as part of the... There is an industry uh, of... Uh, in humor, and the Jews are a huge part of that. You know, there's an article in 1979, Time Magazine, that by 1979, 80% of the people involved in comedy in the United States making money from it were Jews. And that's actually really interesting, uh, although there's no conspiracy uh, <laughs> involved. <laughs> you know, uh, when, uh, when you look at what happens, you know, it's really quite remarkable because the people of the book are not the people of the joke. In the Bible, uh, if God laughs at you, really, you're toast. <laughs> if you do stand up to God and you say, stop me if you heard this one, he does with a bolt. <laughs> it's not really until the Eastern Jewish European experience, the experience of, uh, uh, of assimilation, the experience of coping and survival, the crazy Talmudic reasoning, all of this coming together in this sort of cauldron of logic and illogic which gets exported to the United States, vaudeville, film, television, which makes Jews really the, the foundation of Jewish humor and really American humor. Because what Jews were able to deal with is not only coping but anxiety. Hey, I'm from New York. You want to come up here? <laughs> you want a piece of me? Come on, give me a break. <laughs> there you go, he's a funny guy. So part of the fact is that it became an industry, became so important in, in culture, gave it its tremendous force. It's how I became a cartoonist because there were jobs for cartoonists, jobs for comedians. And because humor wasn't looked at at merely the children's table, and I don't look at it that way, but it's a way to keep a deep insight. My epiphany, my transforming experience in life was I was a college student of bad college students. Uh, I was in a sociology class. I had never gone to that class. I came in for the final, and the, the, the teacher came up to me, and he said, who the hell are you? And I said, you know, I could very well ask you the same question. And that epiphany, that may be funny, was the new smart, was accurate. Thank you.